let these guys cool out. Just cool out, you. Chill um, out, man. And then we have oregano. To mm. me, I mean, oregano is one of those herbs oh. that to me is really underused. And like when people think of oregano, I think they think of just like dried oregano that goes and on And bitter pizza. and like way overpowering yes. too. So uh, we have a little oregano in there. And then, so we have grated Gruyere cheese. And I'm mm. using grated cheese here because we're like, great. Mm. And then, <laughs> <laughs> so, but I like this because what happens is it will melt and it will get into all the nooks, nooks and, and crannies. Things, and then it acts as the glue to stick this dude great together. Tip. Great tip. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Grated cheese for your grilled cheeses. Good tip. So if you don't, if you only have sliced cheese, you know what, that's fine. It'll work too. Sure. I just think this just gives us a little a leg up. Mm. Um, so then we just make a nice even layer of this guy. Yum. Yes. Um, and then. And what a great way to entertain too, right? Inf inviting friends over for brunch is so much more affordable than a dinner party. Oh, I, you know, I would, I would eat breakfast food at every meal. I mean, oh, that breakfast was... for dinner is a great theme actually for a dinner party it too. Was... Yeah. Cheap and cheerful. I really Cheap and cheerful. I always say that about myself. Cheap and cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> so then we're just gonna dip these guys in. It's some egg, some milk. I put a little cayenne pepper in here. Nice. Just to, if you don't like Another little spicy, to eat though. That's great. So that's optional. Like beautiful. Spicy stuff is optional everywhere. And mm. then we can just put this right back. Griddle it. On here, yeah. and right on the griddle. And right onto the griddle. So I understand, I know that you love eggs. Can you fry a couple for me? Sure, of course. So a couple of like sunny side yeah. ups. I think that it's really important to mention the temperature of griddles when you're making a stuffed French toast. It, it, not too hot, right? Cause you gotta give it time to work. Right, if you go screaming hot, what happens is it will brown way too much on the outside mm -hmm. and it won't get melty, toasty, delicious on the inside. Yeah, and the cheese won't melt for you, right? Exactly. I mean, you gotta give it time to do its thing. So, you got some working beautiful back there right? though, huh? So what you can do with these and another great tip is have a rack, mm -hmm. a sheet tray with a rack and have your oven on oh, warm. Oh sure, yeah, keep them warm in a low oven. So then everyone can eat warm warm food at the same time and you have your eggs. And, and you so can keep going in batches and batches. Exactly. I know, she's very clever. <laughs> they don't so. just give away these jobs. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so, oh, look at that. To me, the, this is the- That perfect. is the perfect color, right? Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, that's the sexy beast. Right. And look how crispy, like yes. you could knock on him. Right, where you bite it, you hear the crunch, and that to me is like brown food tastes good. Right? Yeah, br color equals flavor in food. Exactly. Yeah. So that, Beautiful. but then you get like squishy, softy, melty, cheesy, tomatoey, bacony delicious. Do people ever ask you what, when you're out in the world for advice on how to uh, design their kitchen or what aisle to find something on in the grocery or? They ask you for recipes when you're out in the grocery shopping, for instance. Always, always. And it's so funny, people like who live in my building, right. they'll see me like coming in, I'll be bringing my bike in and they'll be like, oh, there's the girl from the Food Network. They're like, I have this fig um, vinegar. Can I substitute that for balsamic? <laughs> and like, like free tips everywhere I'm going. And I'm like. And you're like, uh, yeah. Sure. I I'm guess. Like, Especially around the holidays, it happens the most. You want a, a little bit of minced chai for that? Yes, please. Here, plate I, one up to show them because it's so pretty. All right. So so let's finish this guy up. What do you think? We'll we'll put this on. Put him on this on this dude here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Put yeah. it on there. Let's maybe. We'll, you want to? We should cut it. Maybe. Do you think? You want to cut? Um, I just so that we can see on the inside. inside, and then we can do a whole one with the egg on top of it. But look, like look, so look, see, look like, at that! Oh my God, yeah. how pretty is he? Yeah. Oh, and then do another. Give me another. Uh, All right, there we go. One. Right, and then slide an egg on. Come yep. here, baby. Scoop one out. He just spat at us. <laughs> Don't give us your attitude. We're going to eat you. Right? I know. It's like we're mean to food. We beat eggs. We whip cream. We... <laughs> it's like this one. And then a little do. chivey poo. Yep. See, I'm always a fan of the chives, too, rather than a parsley. A more little mint chives, more yep. flavor. Hold that baby up. And Morel and his stuffed favorite.